All right, so this is the last heavy day before my powerlifting meet. This is a uh, sat Saturday night, the night after the, the seminar, uh, coming back from Mountain View. And I'm working on trying to get some work in. You know, I injured myself about two and a half weeks ago. It kind of interrupted my training cycle and it kind of fucked shit up. And uh, a lot of things have been going through my head when I think about my training. And I'm kind of deciding whether I'm going to do uh, deadlift only and bench press only and then give up the squat because of my back and knee. So those are some thoughts. I'll make another video talking about that. But let's talk about this workout for the moment. I'm finding that this workout is sort of an interesting workout because uh, I kind of – or what my thoughts for the day was that because I haven't been able to peak for strength really well, uh, I, I thought about trying to improve – uh, my deadlift groove, trying to find that perfect form with the right amount of weight. And the thing is that when you pick a too heavy of a weight, you really can't uh, do a whole lot of repetitions. You can't get a whole lot of volume in. And if you want to get good at something, you have to fit the volume in. And that's kind of how it all works. So, in the same token, like if you're trying to get really strong, you can't lift. And if you're trying to get really strong, you can't lift too light. So uh, for this workout, because I'm about a week out from my meet, I wanted to find a weight where I can practice my deadlift groove, but not the weight be too light. Because at 405, the weight is too light. Uh, I'm not going to practice it enough. And then also, uh, four, uh, 500 is too heavy, and I usually will only get about three or four repetitions. Or I should say, probably three repetitions really good, and then the rest are going to be kind of grindy. Uh, and I kind of wanted to minimize some of my grind, and for the purpose of that, it's just to work on my technique and just really improve my positioning. And luckily, I was able to actually, even though all my pulls look really, really slow and they felt hella slow, uh, what I decided to do is I actually just decided to pick a weight somewhere between 405 and 500 pounds. And I figured, you know what? Uh, 455 seems like a pretty good weight. And I basically uh, picked this weight to really practice the form and the technique. And here's a, basically all the repetitions. I did eight reps. This is a side view. And uh, you can see, this is 405 actually. Um, that I'm just really trying to find my deadlift groove, trying to find my glutes. You can see there's a little bit of upper back rounding. Maybe e I don't think there's really a whole lot of lower back rounding because my lower back isn't sore, and it doesn't even feel like it was worked. Probably because of the the supportive belt. I mean that two inches. I mean that uh, 10 millimeter belt does make a big difference when you compare it to like a nylon belt, which is a lot more comfortable. But what I wanted to say was that I, I picked a workout where I can do enough volume. So what I did was I said I set 30 minutes on the clock. War I'm gonna warm up. Set 30 minutes on the clock and then. I'll do 455 for as many reps as I can. And I believe I got about eight repetitions. And it's kind of hard to say which repetition was the best. All I know is I just wanted to get enough work done so that I can build the confidence to know that I kind of knew where I f was. And then hopefully a week from this day, or in eight days from this day, which is just, you know, because my, my meet's on a Sunday, which is eight days out from this uh, workout, is I'm going to be able to uh, carry over some of that strength, hopefully. You know, because not always the case. But I know that there's a lot of... Uh, stuff that goes into all this and this is just kind of my kind of thinking to myself this is kind of what I do when I'm thinking out loud you know again it's kind of hard for me or what I find especially if you have a really busy life and you have stuff going on it's just it's really difficult to do an entire training cycle without uh, any interruptions and I really, I really think for a powerlifting it almost feels like it's a lot more difficult in the sense that you really have to be focused on your numbers and really stay consistent with making sure you're making the incre incremental gains and you need a hundred percent focus to make sure that you get the quality workouts that are necessary in bodybuilding which i think is still important you need to have focus uh, is that uh, you know, with the workouts, I mean, of course, they're intense, but they're different because you're just really trying to build size and you're trying to mold out your physique. And uh, and that's not to say that it's any easier than powerlifting. It's just really more like it's almost like all that focus and discipline has a lot more to do in the nutrition side than necessarily the workout. Oh, no, that doesn't mean that the workouts are weak for bodybuilding. I'm just I'm just kind of comparing and contrasting between the two types just kind of with my experience as I learn and those of you that have kind of seen some of my podcasts with Nas who's, in, who's a physique competitor we're kind of having these conversations and it's sort of interesting because I find bodybuilding and, and powerlifting very fascinating and it's kind of one of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to training and getting the most out of yourself uh, anyways but that's pretty much kind of my thoughts uh, I, I think the deadlift session was kind of could have been a hell of a lot better uh, but you know, given my circumstance and my situation, I, I'm stuck with what I got, and you know, I'm gonna do the best I can. So, um, uh, stay tuned for another video talking about like, uh, you know, the difference between whether I'm gonna deadlift or not, or 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 if I'm gonna cut the squat out or not, and do bench only and deadlift only. Uh, but there's a lot of things I want to think about, and uh, I'm gonna share with that in another video. Anyways, stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.